Uh, let's switch gears here a little bit and talk about relationships. Uh, you know, I jokingly said uh, something about Bobby Lee's and my uh, divorce and so forth. Truly, when you really get down to the nuts and bolts of it, it's very difficult to find the humor in it, especially where kids are involved. Lori Clark Viviano, our family law specialist, joins us here this morning to talk a little bit about that. Uh, you were sharing some things off camera with me here that, that I'm just scratching my head going, oh my gosh, you know, you think your life is complicated. Some of these, uh, some folks out there are really dealing with some messes. You know, the bottom line is I'm never boring at a cocktail party. No. I mean, obviously I don't talk about my clients, <laughs> right. but the facts, like he was hilarious. You know, he's getting that from real life stories. Let's right. be real here. Right. I, I think, you know, when I'm doing a divorce, the one thing I care about is the children. Right. Like, you really don't want them exposed. And the judges are really good at looking at that. But, you know, one of the things we were talking off camera is like the Simon Cowell, his girlfriend's divorce, how there's some rule that he can't get near the uh, child of her prior marriage. That is so not enforceable. But, but, but now here's, here's the, the weird thing that you were pointing out to me. Okay, so his girlfriend is pregnant with his child. Right. All right, but her divorce isn't final yet. Yes. If that baby is born before her divorce is final, whose baby is it? Technically, it's the child of the marriage. Because our, our so it would not be Simon Cowell's child. It would be right. the, the mother and the man that she's married to. Correct, which is Whoa. why I think they speeded up the divorce so that it, you know, this wouldn't be a problem. And if this guy wanted to cause some trouble... He could. He certainly could. Yes. So yes. knowing that he might not be able to do that, then he puts this other rule in here that says you're not allowed to be around my child. Right. Which is, is not enforceable, but I do it all the time. I'll put something in there that makes people feel good. I call them feel good. Um, my favorite one I had, oh, I, oh, that's right, I can't say it on uh, TV. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there was an agreement about sexual acts. So, you know, and we, the attorneys and I looked at each other and said, this is so not enforceable. But we did it because it made everybody happy. Made, it satisfied the parties, then they were able to go along the their way and feel like each had won something in the negotiation. Exactly, okay. and I think that's key: is you have to be sensitive to the other person's feelings. Clearly, you know, you can't keep cameras in the house, and if she's living with Simon Cowell, how are you going to keep this child away from him? It's really kind of ridiculous if you think about it. But if it solved the divorce, if it made everything go away, I mean, sometimes I'll give. Silverware, or you know, we're talking about the antique show. Fine, some curio cabinet, if that's what does it. And I hate to say it, but with, I usually pick on my male clients and say, just give it to her. Just give it to her. What are you going to do with it? Now, and when you do that, you're not capitulating, though. No. You're, you're you're trying to help a client prioritize, and you're yeah. trying to help them work through the really important things. You know, the thing about it is, and we've talked about this a million times, I try to keep my clients calm because what will happen is they're in such an emotional state. Th like if you take this room, they'll start arguing over these candles and I'll look at them and I'll go, go to Target and buy them. And you're right, it's not capitulating, but I could work them up by going, Mark, it's not fair she's getting all the cam, you know, the sure. candles. And, and then you like, rack up another hour of billable time. Exactly. And I see it all the time. They'd be miserable. I, I just had a case where the other attorney had spent three times what I had spent. And that was because my client would say, do this or do that. And I'd go, really? Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Now, again, if you're going through a difficult situation, I really, really suggest that you talk to Lori. Yes, Be I'm really nice. Well, yeah, if for, if for no other reason than you are really nice and you're not trying to work anybody up. You're trying to work things out. Yes. Oh, you know what? That might be a bumper sticker. There you go. Don't work them up. Work, work them it out. out. There, I there like you go. it. Okay. Well, 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 we'll make a graphic. There you go. <laughs> but, but that's what Lori really specializes line. in. Yeah, you, you don't you don't want people to um, to be divorced. You're not trying to cause trouble. You're trying to solve problems, and that's really kind of where you want to start. But again, in the heat of the moment, most of these folks are not really capable of that on their own. Right, and that's what you have to realize. It's really your job to stay calm. Um, as a matter of fact, when you said that, I have a client. We just extended their divorce by 30 days because they're going to go back to counseling. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's, you, you know, when you're talking children, really make sure you're making the right decision. And then be tough on the big things. You know, then don't capitulate on the big things. A lot of times the little things are what will stop my divorce. All right, Lori Clark Viviano, folks, again. This is a person that I would talk to if you're having any kind of situation in the family. That but I'm not as funny as he is. <laughs> as Bobby Lee? <laughs> no, I'm not. And then go to the American Comedy Company and exactly. see Bobby Lee because everybody needs to laugh, no exactly. matter what our circumstances exactly. are. Thanks, Lori, as always.